All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on a very cold day and the snow is falling in western Pennsylvania, but they're going to heat up the hardwood at PPG Paints Arena tomorrow. Exciting times for those who love college basketball in our region. I'll give you a rundown on those games and the other games that are taking place tomorrow, but I want to remind you that you can enjoy all of these games at some of the wonderful places that we like to uh, frequent, those of us from Beaver County, and enjoy some great Miller Lite, courtesy of Shewak Distributing and Ed Shewak and his daughter Allison Shewak, and of course, fine wine and good spirits, but we always advise you to be responsible. Speaking of those places, later tonight, Frank Augustine, Augustine's Pizza out of Newcastle, is making his way to Beaver County to join me to talk pirate baseball. We'll go through this year's lineup, what it looks like it will be when they come north, and we'll talk about some of the prospects that maybe will be a part of that starting lineup in the future for your Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, tomorrow, here's what's happening. Oklahoma Sooners, 18-3, taking on Rhode Island, 25-7. and That game at 12.15 p.m. on CBS, of course, KDK-TV2 locally. Sooners had a fast start. Things slowed down in the second half. Rams won the Atlantic 10 in Pittsburgh last year and are coached by Danny Hurley, the brother of the great Bobby Hurley. It's Iona, 20-13 and 13 versus Duke, 26-7, and 7, 2.45 p.m. CBS. These are all the games tomorrow at PPG Paints Arena. Duke began the season ranked number one. They'll take a number two ranking into the Midwest region as they start four freshmen and senior guard Grayson Allen. They got bounced in the second round last year. Iona, number 15 seed, won the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. And then you've got Radford, 23-12 and 12 versus Villanova, the top seed, 30 and four at 6.50 p.m. TNT again on the hardwood of the PPG Paints Arena. Wildcats captured the Big East for the third time in four years with a 76-66 overtime win against Providence. It's also the fact that they have now cemented four consecutive seasons in which they have had 30 wins. Pretty incredible. Jalen Brunson, a candidate for the Player of the Year, also part of that squad. Alabama, 19-15 and 15 versus Virginia Tech. 21 and 11, the late game, TNT, 9.20 p.m. at PPG Paints Arena. Bama led by All-American guard Colin Sexton. Great guard play gives coach Avery Johnson a lot to work with. The Hokies have a well-balanced team. Five players average double figures. Four players shoot better than 39%. So a lot of great action tomorrow here in our home region at the PPG Paints Arena. Greg Diolis will be there, and he'll report back to us this weekend on the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday show. And, of course, Bob Dvorak and I are going to be talking about all of this with Greg. And, of course, college basketball will be one of our top topics that we'll be discussing. Some of the other games are going to be tipping off tomorrow. You've got Wright State, Tennessee, 1240 on True TV. UNC taking on Gonzaga at 1.30 on TNT. Pennsylvania takes on Kansas at 2 p.m. on TBS. Loyola, Chicago versus Miami, 3.10 on True TV. South Dakota taking on Ohio State. The Buckeyes, 24 and 8, are back at the show for the first time since 2015. Jack Rabbit's going to give them a good game. They tip that off at 4 o'clock on TNT. And then North Carolina Seton Hall, 4.30 on TBS. Davidson versus John Calipari's Kentucky Wildcats at 7.10 p.m. Kentucky must stop Davidson, who made 26 three-pointers to open the season in November and are the Atlantic 10 champs, and they are deadly from three-point range. Kentucky's top five scorers are all freshmen. They tip that off at 7.10 p.m. CBS KDK TV2. San Diego State and Houston, 7.20 on TBS. Stephen Austin versus Texas Tech, 7.27 p.m. on True TV. Buffalo versus Arizona at 9.40 p.m. on CBS. And, of course, Sean Miller, the coach of the Wildcats, Blackhawk native University of Pittsburgh, 27-7. and seven. They're going to play a team in Buffalo who plays man-to-man. -man. They love to push the ball in transition, and they utilize the three-point shot, too. And finally, tomorrow on the NCAA basketball schedule, Montana takes on Michigan at 9.40 p.m., and you can watch that on TBS. That's it for today. Until tonight, when we talk a little pirate baseball with Frank Augustine at the Manaca Sons of Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your day. Thank you.